Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unbrick your Galaxy Note 3 on Verizon. Safe Strap came out not too long ago, and with that being said, you guys are really going to need a safety net to unbrick your device or return it to factory settings in case later on you might want to take an over the air update or if for any reason you need to return it for uh, warranty purposes. Uh, so you have two methods of unbricking and returning your phone to factory settings. You can either flash the root de la Vega Odin file or you can flash the stock uh, image for the Note 3. Either way you'll need to be familiar with Odin I'm going to show you guys the quick and easy process. Uh, so you'll need to head to the link in the description grab either like I said the root de la Vega file or the stock image and also you'll need Odin. Okay so the first thing we're going to do here is enter the download mode. So we're going to power off our device. And then to enter download mode, we're going to hold volume down, home, and power at the same time. Okay, from here, we're going to hit volume up to continue. And then we'll plug our phone into the USB port. And we'll kind of set that to the side. Okay, so once you have Odin open, you'll be looking for your device to show up right here. Once you see your device there, you'll check the PDA box, open the PDA, and you'll find your file. So I've got mine on the desktop. You can use either the Root de la Vega, that'll be the stock system pre-rooted, or you can use the stock image. So the link that I provided, it'll be in a tar file. You'll need to make sure that you un, uh, unzip that or extract the file uh, so that you can actually use it in Odin. So we'll go ahead and select that, and we'll go to Open. And give this just a few moments to open and then we'll click start okay so once the file is loaded here we'll go ahead and click start and once the process starts you don't want to unplug the phone or anything uh, you can seriously damage your device if you do unplug uh, we'll notice that on the screen uh, you'll have a little status bar here once that's all the way filled that means that the image has flashed and it'll reboot the device once it's finished so we'll go ahead and let this do its thing and then I'll show you guys that we are on stock one quick note uh, this will wipe everything so be sure that you uh, back up all your data and important things before you flash the stock image when Odin is finished flashing the image it's going to reboot you into recovery and it'll continue the update process so it's flashing the system that was just uh, downloaded onto the device in download mode and it's flashing that system it's going to reboot of course it says custom here but once you enter into the system and then do a full reboot that should go away so basically we'll just continue to let it do its thing until uh, we do get a pass there see the phone is booting into the Android system now okay so we finally got a pass it took six minutes and 31 seconds to do the entire flash our phone is still trying to boot up it's on the Verizon screen now and it looks like it's gonna go ahead and boot up uh, we can go ahead and plug it once we do get the pass and as you see uh, we're back at the welcome screen as if we turned our phone on for the first time ever uh, so I'll go ahead and set this up real quick Okay, so just real quickly, I wanted to boot into download mode and show you guys that Knox still shows zero by zero under Knox warranty void. Uh, so flashing the stock image, I know some guys had said that flashing the stock image would void your warranty. It would trip Knox, but this has not tripped Knox in any way. If you had issues with your phone, you took it up to Verizon, this is what they would do anyhow. Um, so it's not going to void your warranty, and I just wanted to let you guys see that firsthand. But anyways, guys, this has been how to unbrick your Galaxy Note 3. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on this device and all the other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks again for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.